The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hey, welcome back to Real People, Real Life hey, in Wichita, America. Yeah. There we go. It was All right. Kansas. <laughs> Both. Yeah, both. Was I supposed to be in on that? You yeah, want to, you yeah, want to yeah. do it again? No. I like okay. that three. No. I was going to say, we could do it again if you want to do it. You're good, bud. Hey, we got <laughs> Bub Love back here. It's about time you came back to yeah. see us. It's yes. been a little bit. Happy to be back. And we wanted to find out, you know, all the things that are up with Bub lately. Man. I hear you got like 20 plus projects going right now. Whoa. 23. 23. Is, it? Is no. it really? No. Okay. No. I was going to say. We got scores too. Um... We still we just did the uh, back to school backpack giveaway at the Boys and Girls Club. We did over five hundred backpacks. Wow! Um, how okay? How in the world did you? That, that's a lot of backpacks. Yeah, yeah that's a really huge right. cost. But then you're filling them with. Well, we got a group. Um, we started a couple of friends of ours. Um, it's called GYB, and it's called Got Your Back. And uh, basically, it's we get everything off social media. So. Social media starts it. We, we make a couple posts and it works. Doesn't we it? take care of the community. I'll be done. Yeah. So social media is not all bad. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> a lot of good things. But uh, yeah, I mean, we did. We just did that, and then we have. Um, we just passed. We did our water bottles um, where we pass out to the homeless in the summer. Right. Um, of course, keep them hydrated. I remember on. we were helping you a few years back do that. Absolutely. Oh yeah. So we did that, and wow. then um, we're planning for next year's summer lunch program. Um, Every year we feed about 125 to 150 people, right. independent, just friends and family. Um, we go out in the community and we deliver them, actually. Okay, so things have kind of settled down in that respect because I do remember before that the, I don't know if it was the city officials or, or well, that was the homeless, ordinances. Right. That, that was, was the homeless thing we were trying to do that you're speaking of. Um, we tried to do a shelter for the homeless. Right. Right? And the city wasn't too happy about a whole bunch of homeless people in one area right. in the community, even though it was our property. But um, so they kind of stopped at the fire department was for it. They were right. like, they, they were, and then we had the police tell us it wasn't a smart thing to do <laughs> on our property. So I mean, they're going to say that. Yeah. So we slowed that down and well, they slowed that down and then we just started on other projects. So right now we're just working on the other But things. you still got a helping hand in with, with helping the homeless and feeding Absolutely. homeless. Absolutely. So we still like feed, that. we still have feed. Um, this winter, we went around and we gave our covers, socks, uh, care bags, and stuff like that. So since we weren't able to house them, we went and found shelters for them to go to. And, and while they were out there, we tried to find tents and stuff like that. So if they needed to pitch a tent, they weren't just laying on the cardboard and stuff like that. Right. So that's that's the main thing we've been doing. And then we have the new store on Riverside, um, okay. which is 824 West 13th, Cloud 9. And um, we make handmade candles. Um, mm-hmm. My mother started it a long time ago when she was sick. It was like a therapy thing for her. And she didn't think it would work as a business. Right. I always told her how much people love them. I, I like making candles, People too. love candles. Well, yes. Keith. And I remember going out to your shop and seeing all the candles you yeah. make back then. Bub's been there. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's got some. some really, good like, yeah. really good candles. Um, but yeah, we just... We, we try to fill the void where we can, you know, um, anywhere the community needs us, anywhere we feel like we can help or we have the resources to help, uh, that's kind of what we do. So there's no ever set agenda of what we're doing or nothing like that. It's just, probably changing all the time. Isn't every it? day. And everybody that works with me or around me or family and girls or anything, they hate it because it's like my life is like it, it never has a schedule. Right. Someone could call today right now and say we need help with this nonprofit and then we're all the way to it, and then I coach every year, right. Little League football. Um, so that's heating up now, then, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. We have a tournament tomorrow. Really? And, uh, some of the top teams in the country coming down. A couple from Oklahoma. So we're excited to see where our boys at this year. Now, is this football? Football. Okay. Mm-hmm. I coach basketball too. I figured. Yeah, I coach football, yeah. basketball. It's kind of in your blood. Undefeated yeah. back to back. So yeah, <laughs> we're trying to keep that going, you know. Um, but the main thing is really, you know, working on documentary stuff like that. Uh, thinking about ways of being able to help. Um, just everything is like thirty, like you said, twenty, thirty things. It's like never get a break. Always. I probably sleep like three or four hours a day. If that, uh-huh. some days we go without I'm trying to be like Roddy. So, 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, up, yeah not anymore. Up, not so much anymore. Time, weeks at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, oh, I wish. Once you hit that, it's kind of like an age barrier to where it's like, all right, I put in my dues. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I try to sleep more. But, I mean, the, all the stuff that you're doing, I mean, how do you... So you're getting the donations on, like, social media. Mm-hmm. How do you fit? I mean, how do you find who's who needs this stuff? How do you put all this stuff together? Is it you? How do you put the volunteers of people together in order to? Because really? that's a lot of work, man. To be honest, stuff just falls in place. Hmm. Right. I I couldn't explain. I couldn't say that I'm great at anything, <laughs> but I just work hard. So of course, if I don't know how it happens, honestly, I, I couldn't tell you exactly the formula. Like if somebody told me, come show me how to do it. Just live, exactly. And, and do what you can while you're living. I mean, it's almost like you have somebody working through you. My grandma, ah, you got, exactly. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's what you know. My grandpa, and grandma, they did it for years. Homeless shelters, battered women, drug abuse, stuff like that. Like they just, I don't know. Maybe it's just something that is, it's bigger than me. I, I honestly feel. Because so your grandmother helped in those organizations, is what well, you're saying. Well, no, or just she was in. Created it. Created. She, it. Yeah, she created it just by the way she raised us. Right. Honestly, I mean, because you know, she did it for years, just not with organizations or nothing. Just having forty kids at the house. <laughs> you know exactly. I mean? and, uh, it's kind of like a rescue. I remember those neighborhood mothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the other mothers had to work, and then it's like, okay, you know, if the parents come home and you weren't there, they knew where you was at. You know, and I know we don't have enough time in this segment, but on the next segment, I'll tell you some stuff that I found out in doing this documentary on, on well, Rudy, mm-hmm. and on your grandfather, mm-hmm. um, that you may or may not know. I'm sure you know, but sure I, I, I found out some stuff that, like, sure I don't. But it's yeah. probably going to become its own documentary that you might want to have something to do with it. But when you're going back to this, your your grandfather, Robert, um, Bob, also started a homeless shelter, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we used to hear stories about it when we were too young to know. I mean, I wasn't alive. Yeah, at that time. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we used to hear stories all the time, like, uh, Grandpa would be the guy that drove down the highway, and he would see... A guy on the side of the road, not a little woman or nothing like that, just anybody. Right. And he would be the first to pull over. And so I always thought about that, you know, like, why did he do that? What was the point of that? Because, you know, my grandma always taught us to help whoever exactly. we could help, you know. And it wasn't, she never she never said it as, in, like, to get a reward or, or you would be blessed back. It's just something that you're supposed to do. If you're able to help, help, you know. And so that's kind of what we do. Just like the lunch program, um, it started, the lunch program really started in a weird way. I had a bunch of kids coming to my store all the time asking for free candy, and I would give it to them. I would keep giving it to them. And then one day I was like, mm, y'all hungry. Y'all don't want any candy. Exactly. And they're like, yeah, can I see you want to order a pizza or something? So I ordered a pizza for a couple of days. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm like, whoa, this is going to get expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I could. The store wasn't doing too well at the time. So I was like, uh, I got to find a way. So I asked them, like, I want some food. They got pizza and stuff like that. Then out of nowhere, I went home and I was like, babe, I need to come up with a way to feed them that doesn't cost so much because they're going to they're, they're, they're gonna continue to be hungry. Exactly. And this pizza thing is going to only be temporary because there's no way I can afford to spend $30 every time someone says they're hungry, you know. So we just built it slowly and slowly. And then, you know, I had a couple of nonprofits that I help out. So what, basically the main thing we do is try to, instead of building a nonprofit, I go to nonprofits that um, are small nonprofits that need help, need to find funding. So we kind of bridge resources right. and nonprofits. That's kind of pretty much all I do. And so the food, like, food does channel through there like that? Right, food, everything, stuff. you know, everything. The only thing we don't accept is cash. We don't let anybody give us money. Right. Um, really? It, right, no, we don't accept cash. The only thing people are going to go, you're crazy. Right, <laughs> right, right. So if somebody needs school supplies, we just ask people to bring school supplies. Exactly. If we're doing water drive, we tell them to bring water. And that's 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 we a smart need, thing, that way you're not responsible for everybody. Well, where'd the cash go? Right. right. I never wanted to get that into that, that part. Like, that was one thing I was like, no, nah, I'm not handling people's money. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. Right. So, you know, the thing is, bring, bring what we need so we can give it right away to them. You know, that's kind of been the, And if you do donate, donate to those ch- uh, nonprofits that we're working with. Exactly. That way they can channel through there. Exactly. That. So they can document it, how it's going. So, I mean, that's the that's the way we kind of work. Right. Most of the time. 
I remember you talking with me and Robin, like you said, it was a couple of years ago, and it sounds like things are have kind of smoothed out. Maybe it never really does. It's just like you say, it just falls in. Yeah, I mean, it's smoothed out, um, but it's got more hectic in other ways. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's just it's kind of like a balancing act. Sometimes uh-huh. it's smooth this way, sometimes it's not. Every day. So now the rougher part is the store. Um, I, I spend so much time away from my store, I don't really get the time to, to put in the right advertising or promotion and stuff like that because I'm always doing another event. So the store suffers all the time from, from that, which is okay with me. At time. But then you think about it, you know, the less you make, the less you can help. Yeah. So that's kind of what the, the, the more hectic part now is just getting back on to letting more people know about the store and get them in there. Because essentially what we do is we make money from the store. My account calls me all the time like, hello, yeah, yeah. need some cash flow. need to make more money. <laughs> You're doing too many programs. So. Well, let's take a break right now. When we come back, let's have you talk about your store and where it is and all the stuff that you got over there so people can go in there and you can uh, like get more business so you can spend it more on kids' pizza. Go in there and <laughs> donate. Coming back here on Real People, Real Life. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Albero Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Albero Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2 You deserve to feel fantastic. Tune in every Monday at 7.30 a.m. for Real People Real Life as we cover current events and local happenings. Real Life issues with special guests and spotlight local business and politics. If it's in Kansas, we cover it. Real People Real Life, Monday at 7.30 a.m. on My TV Wichita. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. It's the annual 2 plus 2 equals 0 at Credit King Auto Sales. I told Dad, perfect timing. It's right in time for back to school. It is so easy. Two years of your job, two years where you live, and with those two things, you can drive off with zip, zero, nada, nothing down. Pretty cool, huh? Come in now and save some serious money with the annual Credit King 2 plus 2 equals 0 down payment. Credit King Auto Sales. Bad credit, no credit. No worries at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Welcome back to Real People Real Life. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. All right. Yeah. Man, first time for Kate. Yeah. Uh, I'm next. Yeah. Okay. okay, you gonna do it? No, that's great. You can take us out next time. Well, I'm about to do the outro. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did one earlier. 
show. Oh, a different show. A different well, this show, right. we need one from you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we could. So, okay, let's let's talk about your store a little bit. They're over there at uh, 13th and Woodland. At Woodland, yeah. It's on the corner. It's actually right across, like, at a corner from the uh, Riverside Cafe, which is a really popular um, yes. eating place in uh, Riverside. So, um, and there's some other cool shops like, over there too. A lot of cool shops. Actually, um, right down the street was just voted the coolest corner in Wichita. Um, I have a couple of buddies. I didn't see that. Yeah, um, it's called Our Coffee House. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. and Songbird Juice. Really brightly colored. I see. Yeah, yeah it's amazing place, best quality, and it has a great feel to it. You know, the whole thing. Yeah, ours has been around in several different versions. Right. It was before. Yeah. It was the park. Yeah, um, Riverside I, I grew up walking down the street from my grandma's house to go get his stuff from the park. Well, your grandma's house is one block away. Yeah, you can see it from her front porch. Uh-huh. Right? So, yeah. <laughs> but um, the store is, uh, I mean, the name of it. it. Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. So, yep, Cloud Nine. And Love and Company Candles. Um, so basically what we've done is we kind of made the inside look a lot better. We put wood floors down. We got brand new glass, water pipes, and stuff like that. We, we had... Things with the city going on, every every store in the city did. I was wondering about that, yeah. And so we we're, we're getting back into that, but the candles, the candles are what kept us alive this whole time. Um, handmade, mom started making them about like, I think it was like 1996, 95. Mm-hmm. So it's been around a little bit. Um, is she still helping out? She's still doing. That? Yeah, mom. Mom is more in a. An executive role. Mom, <laughs> mom, mom's not touching wax anymore. You know, she just she now she 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 smells. She smells and tells me if we're doing a good job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes and no. A little more, a little less, a little. So we do. We 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 kind of our specialty is we infuse our candles with natural herbs. So mm-hmm. Saint John's Wort, Valerian, chamomile, mm-hmm. any type of herb you bring, I can infuse the wax with it. We use all natural, top grade soy. Um, we we also make wood, wood wicks, and we also use cotton wicks. Um, we just got our website up, and it's been doing. It's kind of saving my life right now. Um, it's my cloud life. M Y C L O U D L Y F E. Uh, MyCloudLife.com, and it has the candles on there. You can make custom pillar candles if you don't want them in glass and stuff like that. So really, the, what we do now is any way you need a candle, we'll make it. So you design it. I design it. Been there. I make it, design it. Um, we make yes. the labels. Um, that can be a lot of fun and a lot of work. Oh, it's a lot of work and it's a lot <laughs> of fun. It's a lot of fun because I never thought I'd be doing something that I used to think was Sissy. for your mom. Girly. <laughs> I thought it was girly, you know. Because um, I grew up, I watched my mom doing it. I'm like, candles. I'm not, like, I was talking to my brother the other day. I was like, I never thought I would be selling candles. And that's why I say stuff kind of just falls into place yeah because candles well i mean <laughs> i mean but candles uh, i mean there's no nothing nothing about my family that says candles it's music sports All right. <laughs> uh, manufacturing man, candles I, uh, i'm yeah. the candle i remember yeah. my first basketball that i made and i was probably seven years old mom comes home and she's making jelly well back in the day they took beeswax after they mm-hmm. made the jelly and cool, and they sealed it. Mm-hmm. And she made some jelly, and she's like, where's my beeswax? And I'm like, I don't know. And she goes, well, what's the candle? <laughs> Your beeswax, Mom. <laughs> well, and, that, you know, that's another thing. Um, if you go on a website, it'll say soy and beeswax. So the beeswax candles that we make are also all custom. So we don't normally stock the store with bees ca- beeswax candles. Uh, it is expensive. It's very expensive. And the demand for it isn't the same as soy. Not at least not with us. It, um, right. But when people then you have your certain clientele of people that want just beeswax candles. So they make custom orders and stuff like that. So beeswax and I didn't know that they were so good either. The beeswax candles and, and really what I did is I took what my mom did and I just started playing around. That's how we got the wood wicks. We started coloring. We started putting designs on the side of the candles and stuff like that, mm-hmm. infusing them with the herbs. So basically, I just took something that, you know, and the, the craziest part about it was it was something that I always used to see her do. She would give out gifts, candles to people and stuff like that. Right. And I used to tell her when I was a kid, like, you should be charging people for this. I mean, it's really good. The whole house smells like whatever the scent is. Uh-huh. 
So she's getting that's a story of her life. family's life right there. Right. She'd be charging for it. <laughs> yeah. Quit yeah. getting ripped off, love family. Right, yeah, right. Let's, <laughs> let's give right. a lot of love, you know. But the thing is, is like it was more of a um, like I said, a therapy thing for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, in the story, like we're more of a cultural shop. We like to teach a lot of different stuff. So um, we've had the North High Business um, class come down. I've talked to them. I used to. Oh, wow. I graduated from North. Oh, they're just right there. Yeah, right <laughs> on the street. And they came down and we and we got to talk to them because I wasn't the best student. <laughs> but I did put my store on the same street on my ten year anniversary, so I felt good about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, there you go. No, mm-hmm. But no, I mean, it, it's like we do a lot of GD prep programs. We do a lot of mentoring type things too. Right. And the candles actually has been something I've been able to show people that, you know, sometimes you can make a living with your hands still. Like it's kind of like an un, like unthought of thing now. Like oh, you can actually have a job with your hands. It's an use. art. Yeah, it is an art. Right. But it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of time and stuff. But it, but the candle store has opened up a lot of different things that I didn't know it would. And that's why I say everything just keeps dropping in place. From making the candles, I get a lot of wholesale orders around the country for other stuff like the pipes and other stuff like that. They're like, wow, you make candles? I need those. Now I need this. I need, well, will you come teach me how to make this or would you come show me how to make that? So, I mean, we do. We, we, we do candle classes and stuff like that too. So. Mm-hmm. It's not just something that we do. We show people how to make them at home and wax melt that they can put on their burners and stuff like that. Exactly. Now, you brought up a couple times wood wicks. Is that a wood, wood made a wood wick? A wick made out of wood or something? What is it? No, I don't, even, I don't so know. So ours is made with cedar. Um, oh, ooh, ooh. Wood cedar. Pretty smells pretty, probably smells pretty amazing. good, too. It smells amazing. But it's just like the cotton wick. It's just wood. You just set the wood on fire, it burns just as good as the cotton, if not better. It has a crackling... Um, it does. Neat. It's kind of like a fireplace, how it sounds. And it's real calming. And it melts wax. And it very, very, a little faster than cotton. Yeah. But it's a lot better quality, I think. It is. Me personally. But it's, I mean, the candles are something that have saved us. Saved us, buddy. Well, that's awesome because, like, after the whole <laughs> glass thing with... Wichita, you know, it affects a lot of businesses, ridiculously, in my opinion. Well, we we went a month without with like two customers after that. Wow! So, you know, it, it was something that it was a big effect on us. Home, a lot of glass blowers moved out of town too. Mm-hmm. Um, they couldn't feed their kids. They couldn't feed their families. And these are guys that literally are making beautiful pieces of pieces art. Pieces of art. Mm-hmm. Of art. Yes. I mean, and not only do they make pipes, they made vases, they made other things that went to other industries here, I mean, and, and which how we started losing them mm-hmm. because of... I knew a few of those that were, I mean, they were amazing, they were nice people, they worked hard, they were always, always in there blowing glass. Right. And then that gets cut away. That was their love. And they were actually, you know, priced pretty, pretty well to where they could... You, you know, they could probably make a decent living, I would think. A decent think. living, you know, a good living. The better ones make great living. Mm-hmm. The not so good ones pay the bills. Um, but it was a, it was, it was a good market. You know, a lot of people don't realize how much talent we have in Wichita. Mm-hmm. That is, I travel everywhere. Boy. I'm like, so like a couple weeks ago, I think I went to like 18 states in five weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, just checking out friends' stores, doing wholesale orders, and doing a little market research. And just noticing how much talent we have here from glass blowers to musicians to things like that. We just, some way, we, we, we've got to continue to promote that. We have to fuel the rest of the United States. Come on. You, you know, and that's exactly what it is. You know what the problem is with the, how much talent we have in Wichita? A lot of it leaves. Leaves. We don't keep it here. Okay. And that's one of the things like this right here, Blackbird Studios. Right. You know what this is? Mm. This is John McBride. Okay. He and his wife, Martina, uh, left yeah. Wichita to go to Nashville, and now they're Blackbird Studios in Nashville. When I was in there, uh, let's see, with Rudy, mm-hmm. with your uncle, um, we go walk in the studio, and there's this guy named Jared Neiman, mm-hmm. who opened for Kenny Chesney at Arrowhead last year, who was from Harper, Kansas. Yeah, yes. He's in this studio, yeah. and, and uh, John McBride of... Yeah. The McBride Electric family mm-hmm. yeah. is like, hey, come here, come on. we go over here. Shakira's over here recording, mm-hmm. and in this studio over here is Shania Twain. Wow! And they had nine other studios in there. 
And that could be well, here in Wichita. It could have been here yeah, in Wichita. Yeah, see, and that's another thing I always look at. Even, the, even the sports, we have so many talented basketball, football, baseball, soccer players from the city that's not recruited by WSU. Not, they don't go to any of the state schools, K-State, KU. They leave. It's like the Brown And I tell you what, and that's going like to lead Brothers. me into the same story I was going to tell you before. Um, so we're going to take a break real quick and come back, and then I'm going to give, you know, Bub some – some additional information on his family he may or may not know about it. I don't, we'll see. Coming up here next on Real People Real Life. Real People Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Kaido Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kaido Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. Bad credit, no credit, no worries at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Welcome back to Real People Real Life. We're here at Tape it in Wichita, Kansas, America. We got America. Up, 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 and my and we got the amazing Bob Lum with us today talking about what's going on in his life. Okay, Bob, so you were talking about how that we export a lot of our, our sports people, mm-hmm. musicians, mm-hmm. talented people. Absolutely. It's like, it's like if, seriously, there's like a brain drain going on in Wichita. If we could have, look at Oklahoma City. They yeah. used to be the same size as Wichita when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. And now they have an NBA team. Right. And they've got big skyscrapers going up oh, and all yeah. this stuff. And their economy is booming. Booming. Yep. And so this is happening, you know, all over the country outside of Kansas. And we're like losing people. Not to get into a governmental thing or anything like that, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Right. kind of in, in really. shooting this documentary, which is on on your uncle, but on your family. I mean, you've got like eight to ten family members who are actually in this movie. There's thousands of them, yeah, and there's there's a yeah. lot of love family members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's why I have to get this movie done, or I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of people mad at me. Yeah. But so what I found out in shooting this. Um, which is, I think, probably going to be another documentary all in itself, which is just going to be totally focused on Wichita, um, is there was this neighborhood growing up uh, where the Love family grew up. So your grandma and grandpa 
And also within this neighborhood was the Antoine Carr family. Was it like hydraulic or something like that? Yeah, right over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, like way before eighth, time. thirteenth. Yeah, way before way your time. Before when they, time. we're talking when they were in high school and growing up, yeah. it was the Barry Sanders family. Mm-hmm. It was Lev- Levanta Williams family. Right. Uh, Carla Burns. Mm-hmm. It was uh, Tell Street. Talent on the street, the Love family, it was insane. And all this talent, I, I left somebody out. Um, Lynette Woodard. Lynette okay, Woodard. The super talent on the street. Yeah. It was no, absolutely insane. Wow. And <laughs> like the- you were talking about how, you know, where your grandmas had 40 kids over all the time. Yeah. These were the kids that were over there all the time. Uh-huh. Right. Can you imagine? And they were all, and, and Rudy, Rudy and Bob and your mom, yeah. and they were kind of the older kids in there. And everybody was, in a way, competing, not competing with each other, but trying to compete to see who, who would make. They were all lifting each other up. And look yeah. what they did. Lynette Woodard, uh, KU basketball, a couple Olympic medals. If it weren't for Lynette Woodard. The greatest female basketball player of all, of all time. time. Yeah. First female Harlem Globetrotter. And if it really what? weren't for Lynette Woodard, in my opinion, there wouldn't be a WNBA. There might have been, yeah. but it was because when that water was so good, they had to put her on the Harlem Globetrotters. Right. <laughs> there was, I mean, yeah. and then eventually, at that towards the end of her career, they finally started the WNBA. Right. Barry Sanders, greatest running back of all time, right. retired way too soon, and he retired because he was like sixty yards shy of James Brown, his hero's all-time rushing record. Mm-hmm. Antoine Carr was in the Jim NBA. Brown. Who's that? Jim Brown. Jim Brown. That's yeah. what I said. James. James Brown. Oh, James Brown. Was trying to get your brother Ru- or your uncle Rudy to go on tour with you. Right, he there you go. So you yeah, all that. it was. And Rudy stayed here because he didn't want to leave his family. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's he's a good guy. I'm telling you, he's a really, really. Good oh guy. man, I'm telling you. Well, I don't know. And I want to, I want to, I want to make this documentary on all these interviews I've shot with these people called the the neighborhood. Because it was, it's, I don't know if you can find another neighborhood anywhere in the country that had that type of incredible talent. It would probably be a really hard thing. I think one thing that you look at from that situation and just hearing stories growing up is just the village mindset. Mm-hmm. Um, exactly. The village mindset um, for them was that everybody was held accountable everywhere. Whether you're at this end of the street, whether you're at that end of the street. And, and I know I'm a lot younger, but that's how it was growing up with my mom. And, um, yeah, my Anybody could get you in trouble. Anybody could whoop you get yourself in trouble. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, I, I feel like, you know, it was a cooperative group training there going on. It was a village. Before, you know, the street. Street. And, it, and it was strange back in the day because if you messed up in someone's house, yeah, they had that permission to get your butt whooped. Yeah. By that grown up. Yeah. It wasn't just mom and dad. Right. And, and grandma, you know, grandma and grandpa, um, if, a lot of people that don't know them, a lot of people that do, they, they know that they set standards. Mm-hmm. And these standards will be met, exactly. one way or another. Uh-huh. And that and that went for everybody, not just us. You know, mm-hmm. my friends used to come over like, man, I thought your grandma would be a little easier on me because I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> wrong house. <laughs> wrong house. Wrong house. I thought she'd be easier yeah. on me because I was Rudy and Bob's oh, friend. Right. No <laughs> you know, that means your standards just went up higher. Exactly. Yeah, I expect more of you. You know, so I mean, that street that would be a great documentary, actually. Um, so much of it, we already have film for this documentary that can just easily go. Ding, ding. I think then back then too, though, you know, a lot of people really supportive of each other. Um, of even though it was a competition, um, people had the best thoughts and wishes for the next person. They they wanted other people to succeed because mm-hmm. people know that a group of successful people breeds more successful people. And just one successful person wouldn't have done like just imagine if they wouldn't have worked together. Mm-hmm. You know, a couple of those stories might not have turned out that way. Right. You know, but the fact that they did, everybody either semi-successful or uber-successful, you know, from that just working together. So I think that's a, a big part of that. Back then, when they didn't have much either. You know, so right now you they pool just, resources. It's a, it's they, more they did. Of an individual yeah. effort, right? Or you know, it's like which okay, makes it harder. I'm, I'm going mm-hmm. makes it a lot harder. Yeah. Well, but look at what you're doing now. You're doing the same thing. Almost. No, yeah. I'm not. I don't. I mean, it may not, not be just a neighborhood, but I mean, but you're you're 500 backpacks. Yeah. That yeah. You're keeping and that was like, but, but that's the thing, though. You know, that was a group thing. It wasn't like I did, I got the 500. That's um, what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. But it was a group thing, and yeah. um, that's I think that's the biggest point. Like everything that we do at the store or through the community groups or whatnot, 
it's always a group effort. Like a lot of times people are like, Bub, you, you did an amazing thing. I'm like, man, bro, it's so much that went into that. It wasn't me. It was this lady that came by at two with a pack of this. It was the lady at three that came with this. Um, my mom sacrificed because she volunteered some of her time for this. A friend came over with, you know, I had a kid come in and say, you know, I don't have much to uh, donate. He said, I, but I got out of college last year. I graduated. I still haven't found a job. He said, but I have a couple school supplies left that I never use. He said, would you guys be willing to take that? I said, man, thank you. You know, he said, I know it's not anything. I'm telling you, that's a lot. You don't realize just that that one pack of paper is going to a kid that had no pack of paper. Exactly. You see what I mean? So it's the group thing. And that's why I think that's what we learned. That's the number one thing about being in love. A lot of people understand is there's no room for egos. Mm-hmm. And there's no room for stars, really, to me, because there's so many of us uh-huh. that are good at things. So, you know, one person is not important. So we always got taught to work together exactly. as a group, you know. You know, that would, that would be totally horrific if this whole city came together like that, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, terrible, huh? It yeah. would just terrible. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it, would, it would be a trendsetter for the whole United States, or we would all just be done away with because what are the other other? no we can't do that you utopian yes (laughs) come on (laughs) Keith we can't have I'm out of here you know the thing is you know working together is not so bad Mm. it doesn't hurt no I tried it Mm -hmm. it feels alright I mean (laughs) you know it doesn't I mean it really doesn't like I don't know what makes people want to work by themselves that's kind of lonely Mm. You know, it's fun. Like, some of the best feelings in the world come of group achievements. That's why I love culture football. Because at the end of the day, you know, when the kids win collectively, uh-huh. they're patting each other on the back. Yeah, yeah I mean, and, and those are yeah. bonds. Like, you know, Uncle Rudy and them, they played baseball back in the day. It wasn't so much of a basketball or football right. thing back then. It was more baseball. But a lot of those kids they play baseball with, they grow up and they know to this day are congressmen, senators, right. doctors, lawyers, you know. And it just come from those group activities that that built teamwork, uh, diversity. A lot of things come. A lot of character. Group. Exactly. A lot of character. A lot of culture exactly. that comes from it because you get to learn about different people. So if you have different ethnicities, different um, beliefs, all on one team, you put that together. You know, you're, you're sharing your culture with everybody, so exactly. people become more cultural. You know, so that's kind of the thing with Brian our family. It's just so big. Everybody's bringing something back to the table. Like, hey, I learned this. I learned yeah. that. I learned that. What you learned? I learned that. So show me this. You know, you broaden your horizons. Exactly. What you, do. Exactly. you open up so many more doors when you do that versus sitting back trying to be just that individual that's that good. That's the best one. Right. You know, and, and, you can still be the best with a group. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and the group can be the best. Exactly. Yes. You know, um, when my uncle took me to California for the first time, I got to meet Uncle George and Uncle Seal, um, Sly Stone and yeah. George Clinton, but. Um, when was that? Oh, I think it was oh nine. Oh man, was that when when uh, Rudy the, too the, was out there? Uh, Did you go at the same time? Funniest thing is when he went with us, but he was so in love with LA, <laughs> he flew back and started working to save up money, and then he moved there. Yeah, okay. Like he was supposed to stay there and hang out with us, do what we were doing. We were doing the whole Jay Z thing, but he flew back. He's like, nope, I don't want to do it. I got to go save up money so I can move here. This is the most amazing place in the world. And that's how you feel. You know, most of our family goes to L.A. I don't know why, but L.A. is kind of where we migrate to. Well, your uh, mother, aunts, and uncles yeah. spent a lot of time out there. A lot of time. My dad always tells me stories when they live with Uncle Seal and they had a, a condo in the mountain. And they wake up in the front room. The clouds would just be sitting in the front room. <laughs> like, man, we got to get to that. Yeah. That's a good goal. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to come back here in a second with more t- tales from uh, Bub Love. Find out some more stuff that he's uh, doing here Real People, Real Life. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. 
You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards, keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. Creativity isn't something you learn. It's something you discover. We're all born creative, but it isn't always fully realized. Take ideas and turn your vision into something tangible. Not just to grow, but to thrive, to test yourself and to find your instincts. Mold your own path to success. Experience yourself in your true colors. At Bethany College at Mindfire, our goal is to see your future created. Bethany College at Mindfire, create your future. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2 You deserve to feel fantastic. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, located at 6441 South Broadway, is your year-round growing headquarters. Every spring and fall, our greenhouses are full of the most beautiful flowers, trees, hanging baskets, and more, sure to add beauty for years to come. We are also a gardener's dream come true. From veggies to herbs, we have the best. Decorative planting pots and yard art, the most in one place. Smoking barbecue wood to wood for your indoor and outdoor fireplaces. Kiter Nursery Landscape Outlet, come grow with us. Find us on Facebook, open seven days a week. It's the annual 2 plus 2 equals 0 at Credit King Auto Sales. I told Dad, perfect timing. It's right in time for back to school. It is so easy. Two years of your job, two years where you live, and with those two things, you can drive off with zip, zero, not a nothing down. Pretty cool, huh? Come in now and save some serious money with the annual Credit King 2 plus 2 equals 0 down payment. Credit King Auto Sales. Bad credit, no credit. No worries at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. And welcome back to Real People, Real Life here in Wichita, Kansas, America, America, America. We got to get to it. America, America. Sitting here with Bob Love, keeping us up to date on everything he's been doing from backpacks 500 backpacks for kids mm -hmm. uh school or well school how many 150 lunches yeah this summer uh -huh. for kids or anybody that's like elderly uh, um this year oh, we did it a little too. different this, than we normally did we let some churches do it for us um, okay this year we didn't have as many donations for the food so they had some we had some we put it together great we made it work but right. yeah um i got a couple new businesses coming what do you got? Let's hear about this, and plus also we've got to hear about uh, some of your music stuff. Okay, um, the new business is basically Fun Ice. Um, what it is is smoothies, frozen drinks, fresh fruits, kale, spinach, all stuff like that. But it's fun and tastes really good. You know, one thing about healthy food and drinks and stuff is they're nasty. You know what I mean? <laughs> My wife makes me drink kale. Yeah, I love kale. Uh, well, I grow it. I had a, so much of it. I wish I would have known that because you know, <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it. But you'll get another point. growing here for the same. goal. Yeah. The goal. Thing, yeah. The goal of the new business is actually um, it will have cheesecakes and it'll have a lot of carnival foods there. But it'll be at Cloud Nine. Oh, great. Right, so it'll be at Riverside. But um, it's also, so we, we do a lot of festivals. So we'll be a moving company. So every festival that we can find, we'll have a booth there. And we'll be doing that. Mm -hmm. So that's a new thing. Um, it's a real fun company, actually. Um, I started it about a year ago when I first started. And we were supposed to already have oh, yeah. it open. Um, but a couple other things happened with the store and just the community events. We had to postpone it a little bit. But... We're back to doing that and right. doing things like that right now. So, do you have truck or do you have Tron? Um, no, 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 no. It'll, it'll be inside of Cloud Nine. Oh, okay. It'll be in. You walk in. There's a 
window cut out. You order, oh, right. you order through the window and it'll come from the back. But yeah, it's a pretty neat thing. But um, the booths that we do at the festivals, yeah, um, there's a, it's just a table right now, a set up booth right. table. But it's it's really it's a great idea actually. Hmm. I think we may make more money doing that than candles. Wow, so, no kidding, so, absolutely. Um, the the one time that the, the the test run we did, I think we made about two grand in like two hours. What? So you know, insane, right? Um, and we kind of donated it all right. to this um, black women's defense thing. We part of it to that, and then to a, another group that we work with. So I mean, it's just ongoing business, exactly. trying, trying to figure our way out through this world, this right. thing we call life. But the music, the music. Is- yeah, what do you got going now on that end too? Music. There's a little bit of music that runs in your family blood as well. <laughs> well, right now the music we have a um, a new imprint that we're working on. It's called YF. It's Young Forever, and it's different genres um, from rock, rap, R and B, country, whatever it is. Just a young, the young, the youth. The goal is okay. to, the, the goal is to uh, to bring that out. Like our family, we always we're singers. Most of our family yeah. singers, you know, and musicians. My dad's a guitarist, and my mom's a backup singer. So, this new movement is just helping young people in this area get their music out. Right. Showing them some of the things that I learned living in this family. The long, long lessons, <laughs> the long nights <laughs> of of music industry stuff. Oh man. Music, like that's something that kind of took me away from music a little. I used to do music a lot myself, yeah. Um, but I got more into the managing and production and executive producing part of it because that's an important part of music. A lot of people only hear the songs, but they don't know about all the people like behind the scenes doing the documentaries or the 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 people making the marketing and advertising and the publishing and right. all these type of things that that's that you know I've learned in obviously yes well you should uh, that's learned, a good I, lesson to learn like, is <laughs> it, to make sure people are paying you yeah make sure you're getting money um so i have a couple new artists that i'll be working with um around here just trying to give them that love family um experience knowledge uh, knowledge jump that, start but yeah going? you know the crazy thing is we learned a lot through trial and error a couple hundred million years <laughs> a couple hundred million there, so yeah. uh, you know that's being nice. Um, but yeah, that's being nice. But it's just to show people to do business the correct way, and, and that's another advocate of the art. That's the thing that we do. Just as in, you know, we have a place inside of Cloud Nine that's open and called the Creation Space. And uh, a really oh, is that you too? Yes. Because I drive by there all the time. I got friends over there. Well, no, that's, that was on Waco. That was the one which you're talking about. Oh, okay. About. Well, the one I'm, well, we're building is with a, a lady by the name of Crystal Moody. Um, she, Crystal, she's a friend of the show. She's yeah. been on yeah. the Crystal Moody. And she does a lot of art. She does a lot of arts and crafts. But what we're trying to be able to do is make it to where families can bring their kids in to different. Uh, and we're, we're taking the glass online to open up the store to a more cultural Shop. So the glass will right. here. Some will phase it out of the store and into an online gallery, so where you can go through and on your iPad inside the store, and you can order, and it'll just come from the back. But the inside of the store will go back to like I was saying earlier, a more cultural store where right. we can advocate the arts. You know what I mean? So that's the biggest thing is showing people a helping them with their crafts and stuff like that, promoting it doing it the proper way the paperwork behind and do you do consignment will you do consignment at that point well we did consignment we've, been, we've always done consignment this place will be more of a partnership like a collective gotcha um, so it'll be teamwork mm-hmm. you know, it won't necessarily just be consignment it'll be a place that where local artists are able to go in and work and okay, hang great. their stuff in the store um, kids will be able to come do classes so it, it'll be a lot of different things. And me and Crystal, we, we just, this Sunday, we actually start building. How many like kids do you have? Kids, me, personally, one. One? I have a son. You need, if you're going to keep building this business, you better get more kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's crazy. It's, it's when I, we, get some free labor. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but, Absolutely. Yeah. No. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, my son, you know, it's crazy. Is he's six. Um, and we do not promote child labor at all. 
Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. With my son. I'll yeah. 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 No, but, uh, my uh, kid's going to mow the lawn. Right, right. Uh, the first, exactly. when he was two, he was helping at the store. Yeah. Good help, actually. Son, hand me that screwdriver hammer. Because I actually built my, my first store by hand. Mm-hmm. So, he was a lot of help then, too. So, one's not bad. I wish I had more sometimes, but then I think about bills. <laughs> yeah, school. Yeah, school and teaching. Uh-huh. I always ask my grandma, what did the Lord want me to teach her? A kid. I don't know if I have anything to teach a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, you'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> figure Sounds it. like you got a lot because yeah. you got a lot of stuff yeah. going there. Right. That's why I call him St. Bub. No. <laughs> <laughs> hates it, right? <laughs> mom hates it, right? <laughs> but, you know, the, the, the creation station is going to be dope because it, it, it allows um, artists, like I said, a lot of people, a lot of artists are starving artists. So they don't have a place to sell it. Right. Um, and that's kind of how I felt with the glass at first. It wasn't about pipes to me. It was that there were so many glass blowers here that didn't have anywhere to sell this Market stuff. stuff right. Right. They had a few places, but we needed more. And Riverside didn't have any. So the goal was to bring that type of, you know, Riverside's an artsy place. It is. Absolutely. You know? So not to have any art galleries there, mm-hmm. um, any glass blower galleries there. I mean, that's that was crazy to me. And my grandma's been in that neighborhood for 50 years. And me growing up over there, I never seen stuff like that. So I was like, well, why not? Mm-hmm. We can definitely do this. So, I mean, everything's always changing over and over again. So we, we, we never, like I said, we never get a set schedule. We never know what our agenda is. It changes daily, you know. And with the creation station, the fun eyes, cloud nine, the Love and Company candles, the lunch programs. The, we have a turkey drive coming up now for Thanksgiving. Every year we hand out hundreds of turkeys, sides and right. stuffing, dressing, all that, all that type of stuff Man. every year. I'm so hungry. When, when are you starting the drive? September? Well, we're starting now. Now? Now? 24 oh. West 13, if you can bring whatever you can goods. Um, so you're starting it now, so we might as well promote it now. Yeah. 824 West 13th. Bring, bring it out. box goods, canned goods, anything like that. Bring a frozen turkey? Well, if you bring a frozen turkey right now, uh, is it still going to be good? Why? It'd be good if it's frozen, but you're going to have to have a lot of space to like store well, we frozen always, turkey. We always find space. We, uh, we have a couple churches and uh, okay. that, that store stuff for us. The Boys and Girls Club has helped out with uh Mm-hmm. The, the, we did the last um, backpack drive. See, another thing about the backpack thing, this is the fourth annual. We've done it four years in a row, but we also cut, like, a couple hundred kids' hair, and we do a couple hundred girls' hair oh, as man. a style in the same day. Oh. So, you There's know, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, in case you don't feel, in case you feel, uh, 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 what would I'm I young, say? Bro. You know, I think, think we we set a record for the longest time. Bub is sitting in one place doing one thing. Right. I know. Yeah, right. I know. Ken, it's like I feel like I'm I feel like I'm holding you back now, man. Yeah. I'll leave here. I'll leave here, and I go straight to football practice. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he, he wants to do four go. more segments. Have well, sit down, and relax a little. <laughs> right. I, I was just thinking, like, man. Well, what, it's a good thing we're out of time here. here. I'll tell you. Well, Bub, thanks for being on the show again. It's great to see. Great to hear what you've been up to. Oh my God! Have been you contacting where? Well, you can contact me on mycloudlife.com. M Y C L O U D L Y F E. Adrian Love on Facebook. Bub Love on Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram. And you'll get back with these people. Yeah. Or you can call three one six five one nine eight seven three five and call me directly. All right. There or go by the store. Buy some okay. candles. Absolutely. Support the cause. Z- 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 buy candles. You got to do that twenty-three times. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then, like, we do weddings, custom orders, um, anything, anything you need done. Candle arrangements. I have people that have huge houses, and we make forty candles a month for them. So just give me a call. Google them. Google. If you need to. Yep. All right. We will see you next week on Real People, Real Life. Amen. Hey. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. 
Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Our goal is to make your next auto buying experience nice and easy. We specialize in getting you the best prices with the most reasonable down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. We keep it hassle-free and no crazy gimmicks. You can even call and make your payments over the phone with your credit or debit cards. Keeping it nice and easy for you at Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway. Find us on Facebook. Creativity isn't something you learn. It's something you discover. We're all born creative, but it isn't always fully realized. Take ideas and turn your vision into something tangible. Not just to grow, but to thrive, to test yourself and to find your instincts. Mold your own path to success. Experience yourself in your true colors. At Bethany College at Mindfire, our goal is to see your future created. Bethany College at Mindfire, create your future. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2NVMe.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Creativity isn't something you learn. It's something you discover. We're all born creative, but it isn't always fully realized. Take ideas and turn your vision into something tangible. Not just to grow, but to thrive, to test yourself and to find your instincts. Mold your own path to success. Experience yourself in your true colors. At Bethany College at Mindfire, our goal is to see your future created. Bethany College at Mindfire, create your future. Plus two equals zero at Credit King Auto Sales. I told Dad, perfect timing. It's right in time for back to school. It is so easy. Two years of your job, two years where you live, and with those two things, you can drive off with zip, zero, not a nothing down. Pretty cool, huh? Come in now and save some serious money with the annual Credit King two plus two equals zero down payment. Credit King Auto Sales. Bad credit, no credit, no worries at the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. 